transmission has been corrupted by Turkish delight. The mesmerizing realm of the digital wilderness, where landscapes of imagination unfold before our very eyes. Today, dear viewers, we embark on a journey unlike any other, an expedition into the heart of the Isle, a virtual world teeming with ancient marvels and untamed beauty. But our focus lies not with the sprawling landscapes and the intricate ecosystems that grace this virtual expanse, no. Today our lens shall be trained upon a creature of unparalleled grandeur, a survivor from the depths of prehistory, the Dinosuchus. Its name, derived from the Greek for terrible crocodile, benefits its stature and dominance within this virtual domain. As we journey forth, we shall trace the remarkable life cycle of this colossal reptilian predator, from the delicate hatchling of its young, vulnerable, full of promise, to the inoxable march of time, nurturing its growth into a true titan of the ancient wetlands. The isle with its vibrant fauna and flora serves as the canvas for this epic tale, a testament to the unending march of evolution even with the bounds of virtual reality. In this carefully crafted world, the Dinosuchus faces challenges both familiar and fantastical. It must traverse treacherous waters, forming alliances and rivalries with its fellow inhabitants, all while navigating the ebb and flow of the dynamic ecosystem. Swift, elusive prey and competing predators await, each contributing to a delicate balance that defines this intricate digital web of life. But beyond the mere spectacle lies a deeper narrative, a tale of survival, adaption, and the indomitable spirit of life itself. For every snap of powerful jaws, every ripple across mirrored waters, is a testament to the Isle's ability to breathe life into the past and transport us to a realm where history and imagination intertwine. So, my dear audience, as we venture forth into this captivating realm, remember that what you're about to witness is more than just lines of code and digital artistry. It is a testament to human ingenuity, a boundless curiosity, and our desire to bridge the gap between the ancient world and our modern understanding. Join me as we unveil the intricate dance of the Dinosuchus, a creature of primeval allure, in a world where time knows no bounds. Welcome to the awe-inspiring tapestry of the Isle. Just beneath the water surface, a master of disguise, concealing its immense form amongst the reeds and ripples, its dark eyes gleaming like polished stones, scan the water with unwavering focus, ever attuned to the subtle disturbances that betray the presence of prey. And there, unsuspecting, a small gaggle of raptors approaches the water's edge, a congregation of innocents unaware of the lurking danger that shadows their every move. Dinosuchus bides its time, patience a weapon as sharp as its serrated teeth, each one a relic from a time where predators shaped the very cause of evolution. In a swift, practice motion the predator erupts from its aquatic sanctuary, its monstrous jaws agape. The water erupts in a frenzy of motion, a chaotic balance of life and death. The chosen prey, a young raptor, desperately struggles, its eyes wide of terror, its claws churning up muddy water in futile attempts to escape the jaws that await. The battle of instinct and survival, etched into the very fabric of existence, unfolds in a fleeting heartbeat. The struggle is as ancient as time itself, an unbroken chain that binds all creatures, predator and prey, life and death. Dinosuka's victory is swift and assured, a chilling reminder to the ever-turning wheel of nature. Let us not gaze through the lens surely focused on bloodshed, but this moment speaks to the interconnectedness of life's symphony. In the throes of its struggles, the prey sacrifice fuels the predator's existence, a cycle woven with a delicate balance that both sustains and challenges. As we bear witness to this tableau of primal instinct, let us not forget the eternal truth. It is a struggle that meets us all, woven into the fabric of our existence. The Dinosuchus' first kills, like a heartbeat echoing through the ages, remind us that life's tapestry is a tapestry of stories, each woven with threads of strength, fragility, and the ceaseless rhythm of the wild. And so, as the ripples of this event fade, and the waters of the isle once again calm, let us remember that within every triumph and every defeat, the struggle for life unites us all. In the hidden corners of the isle, where life's grand drama unfolds, we turn our attention to the scene of both wonder and primal struggle, a moment that underscores the relentless pursuit of survival. Here in the midst of the verdant oasis, we find the young Dinosuchus, inheritors of ancient legacy, engaged in confrontation that echoes the very essence of existence. These diminutive behemoths, mere hatchlings in comparison to their colossal parents, are now venturing into the world on their own. A world where each meal, each encounter, can make the difference between growth and stagnation, between life and death. Observe quotes closely, as these two juvenile giants lock eyes, the reptilian gaze harboring both curiosity and the innate awareness that resources are scarce. In the shadow of their towering ancestors, they engage in a dance that is both familiar and chillingly primal, a contest for strength that will determine the victor, 
and perhaps the very continuation of one life over another. The struggle unfolds, fierce but graceful, as jewels snap and scaled bodies thrash in a fierce display of dominance. Their ancient lineage, honed through millennia of evolution, is evident in every twist and lunge. The primeval instinct drives them, a directive to seize opportunities when they present themselves, to be beneficiary of nature's fortune, a testament to the unyielding tenacity that courses through their reptilian brains. And so, as the victorious hatchling indulges in the spoils of his triumph, feeding upon its fallen counterpart, we are reminded that life's tapestry is woven with standards of both beauty and brutality. The act, though harsh to human sensibilities, speaks to nature's uncompromising design, a symphony of competition, adaption, and the unending pursuit of survival. In this theatre of existence, where the struggle for life echoes ceaselessly, the young Dinosuchus's battle and feast, though fleeting, resounds with an age-old song of the wild, a song that carries the essence of life's grand narrative, an ode to the undoing spirits of evolution itself. In the heart of the Isle's untamed landscape, where time's ancient dance continues, we bear witness to a poignant chapter in the narrative of life, a moment that encapsulates the unforgiving side of nature's symphony. Here, amidst the tangled vegetation and simmering waters, a young Dinosuchus embarks on a tasteful encounter with an adult of its own kind, revealing the stark realities of survival. The youthful Dinosuchus, a testament to the resilience of lineage and evolution, brims with the energy and innocence of youth, its eyes gleaming with the promise of life's potential, traverse its surroundings, a taboo of foliage and streams that hold both bounty and peril. Yet fate has arranged a meeting of fate and destiny that will shape the path for both predator and prey. As the adult Dinosuchus emerges from the water, a behemoth born of ages long past, the energy shifts, a looming presence that carries with it the weight of experience. The scene that unfolds is both awe-inspiring and heart-wrenching, a ballet of meditation and vulnerability, the ancient unfolding before the eyes of the modern. In the aftermath of the encounter, as the ripples of the water settle and the landscape reclaims its tranquility, we are reminded that the symphony of nature, though often beautiful, is not without its dissonant notes. The tale of the young Dinosuchus, its dreams and aspirations, extinguished by the forces of survival, serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities and contrast that define the dance of life on the isle. However, as many have said before, life finds a way. In the realm of the isle where untamed landscapes tell tales of primal survival, we find ourselves amidst a dynamic and treacherous scenario. A scene that underscores the unyielding competition that shapes the course of existence. Here, against the backdrop of dense foliage and shimmering waters, a young Dinosuchus faces a trial of cunning and instinct as it seeks to protect his hard-earned meal from a pair of relentless Carnotaurus. The young Dinosuchus, embodiment of ancient strength and resilience, Fast in the triumphs of a successful hunt, a victory won through the convergence of skill, timing, and fortitude. Yet its moment of celebration is short-lived as a new challenge looms on the horizon. A pair of carnotaurus, fierce carnivores in their own right, drawn by the promise of a meal. As the carnotaurus approach, their predatory gaze fixated on the young Dinosuchus, and its prize attention mounts, an impeding clash of predators, each embodying their own adaptation and prowess. The scene that unfolds, while perilous, encapsulates the essence of nature's grand theatre, a tapestry woven with threads of opportunity, danger, and survival. Sensing the threat, the young Dinosuka springs into action, an embodiment of protective instinct and the indomitable will to safeguard its harder or fought prize. Its powerful tail propels it into the water with a splash, seeking refuge within its aquatic domain, a domain where the Carnotaurus, while formidable on land, find themselves at a disadvantage. The Carnotaurus, undeterred, plunge into the water with primal determination, their scale forms cutting through the liquid medium with surprising grace. The young Dinosuchus, now amidst familiar waters, demonstrates its own aquatic powerless, a dance of speed and maneuverability that eludes the crutches of its terrestrial adversaries. As the drama unfolds, the waters churn with motion, a ballet of survival where the young Dinosuchus swiftly navigates the currents, and the Carnotaurus give chase with relentless determination. The struggle, though perilous, speaks the adaptability and diversity of life strategies, a testament to the ceaseless innovation and the emerges of the crucible of necessity. And so the young Dinosuchus employs the waters to its advantage, eluding the Carnotaurus and safeguarding its precious meal. We are reminded of nature's ceaseless tests, a gauntlet that shaped the trajectory of existence, 
The encounter, though fraught with tension, embodies the essence of life's vibrant tapestry, a symphony of competition, adaptation, and the will to triumph against insurmountable odds. In this moment, as ripples subside and landscape regain its equilibrium, the tale of the young Dinosuka stands as a testament to the challenges that unite all creatures in their relentless pursuit of survival. A tale that reverberates with the grand narrative of Knife on the Isle. A narrative that unfolds of each encounter, each chase, each heartbeat, echoing across the ages. would like to see if you can try to FP properly. And this is also a chance for me to get Morgans, so yeah. It's definitely the hardest crop grow that I've had so far. But shit can change. And you're dead. Very nice. Here against the backdrop of a ravine oasis, young Dunsukas finds itself ensnared in a high stakes game of stealth and pursuit, as an adult of its own kind seeks to lay claim to its hard won meal. The young Dunsukas, embodiment of burgeoning strength and tenacity, feasts upon the spoils of a recent hunt, a testament to the dance of life and death that shapes every creature's fate. But its moment of triumph is abruptly interrupted by a sh as a shadow emerges upstream. A looming presence that promises a challenge not only to its meal, but to its very existence. The adult Dinosuchus, a relic of ancient might and experience, cuts through the river's surface with the grace of its aquatic giant. Its presence a formidable reminder to the hierarchy that governs the wild, then the ripples of tension through the air. The young Dinosuchus, sensing the immediate threat, abandons its meal and bolts into the protective embrace of the thicket, a calculated retreat into the cover of vegetation. The thicket becomes a labyrinth of concealment, a maze of opportunity and danger where every rustle of foliage holds the promise of revelation. The adult Dunisukus, now on land, moves with a deliberate gait, a determined search amidst the tangle of life that conceals its quarry. Its powerful jaws snap open and shut with measured intervals, a visual testament to the creature's ancient lineage and intent. In the interplay of fate and strategy, the young Dinosuchus employs cunning as its ally. Starting from shadow to shadow, evading the adult's relentless pursuit with a combination of agility and its innate knowledge of its chosen terrain, the thicket becomes a symphony of movement, a ballet of life and evasion that unfolds in rapid succession, a scene that underscores delicate balance between predator and prey. And then, with the precision of millennia of adaptation, the young Dinosuchus eludes the adult's grasp, a testament to the dance of survival and the instinctual wisdom it imparts. With the swiftness of an arrow, it retraces its steps, slipping once again into the river's embrace, an aquatic realm where it holds the advantage. As the waters churn with the rhythm of renewed life, the young Dinosuchus makes its escape, a triumph exit that reaffirms the strength of instinct and the will to endure. The encounter, though laden with tension and uncertainty, speaks to the mosaic of strategies that determine the life's tapestry of existence. And so, as the ripples settle and the landscape reclaims its tranquility, we are reminded that within each encounter, each chase, the complexities of survival converge. A symphony where cunning and agility meet experience and strength. The tale of the young Dinosuchus, its fleeting dance of evasion and triumph, stands at a testament to the ceaseless pursuit of life in all its forms. A pursuit that courses through the ages, echoing through every hidden corner of the wild isle. In the heart of the isle, where the eons converge and the symphony of survival plays out, we find ourselves amidst a tale of daring and determination, a story of the young Dinosuchus venturing deep into the wild to secure its sustenance. What unfolds is a gripping saga, a dance of cunning and conflict that encapsulates the trials and triumphs of existence in this ancient realm. As the young Dinosuchus sets out from the river's edge, a world of opportunities and threats stretches before it. A world where each step can spell the difference between a feast and famine. The journey leads it through the diverse landscapes, where scavenging becomes its initial strategy. The scent of death lingers in the air, a promise of sustenance amidst the untamed wild. Young Dinosuchus, embodying both predator and opportunist, capitalizes on the remnants of others' labors. It feeds on the scraps left behind by the larger carnivores. A strategy born of wisdom, where minimizing risk leads to the maximum reward. 
It is a testament to the delicate balance of life, but the strong feed upon the weak, and survival hinges on the art of adaptation. But hunger, that ceaseless motivator of life's dance, drives the young Dinosuchus further inland, a landscape rich with both promise and peril. Here, away from the sanctuary of the river, it faces a new challenge. A cohort of young raptors and ceratosauruses, driven by hunger themselves and determined to stake their claim to the spoils. In the heart of the dense jungle thicket, the young Dinosuchus faces adversaries as cunning as itself. The skirmish that ensues is a testament to the intricacies of strategy, a clash of ambushes, feints, and calculated attacks. The young Dinosuchus, recognizing its limitations on land, employs patience as its greatest assets, a strategy that entails waiting for the opportune moment to strike. In a ballet of survival, the young Dinosuchus demonstrates the duality of its nature, sluggish on land, yet lethal when opportunity aligns. With jaws powerful and swift, it seizes its adversaries with precision, a masterstroke of predation that echoes through the thicket. The fight continues, young raptors and ceratosaurus emerging from the shadows in a test of both strength and strategy. Here, amongst the mist landscape, the young Dinosuchus faces a relentless onslaught of rivals, all driven by the primal urgency to secure sustenance or seize supremacy. The young Dinosuchus, embodying the spirit of youth and the tenacity of his lineage, finds itself within the heart of conflict, a struggle for both sustenance and the very right to live. As it defends its hard-earned meal from one adversary, a relentless tide of competitors emerges, each one seeking to claim victory in this treacherous arena of survival. The scene that unfolds is a symphony of chaos and courage, a dance of tooth and claw. Driven by the ceaseless rhythm of instinctual determination, the young Dinosuchus, with its formidable bite and swift reflexes, stands as both guardian and warrior, defending its prize against the relentless onslaught. The mist, like a curtain of uncertainty, obscures the true intent of the battle as it plays out. As more competitors emerge from the shadows, raptors and ceratosauruses, driven by hunger and the same primordial instinct, the young Dinosuchus finds itself facing an escalating wave of challenge. In response to his testament of the complexity of survival strategies, the careful balance of offense and defense, of agility and strength. In the midst of the prey, a young Dinosuchus employs a strategy of calculated aggression, seizing opportunities to strike at its foes with lethal precision. It dances on the precipice of danger, each movement a calculated risk that could tip the scales of favour or spell its downfall. The very essence of life, with its fragility and ferocity, is laid bare in this tumultuous conflict. The battle rages, a testament to the unrelenting energy that defines the wild, a cycle of chase and ambush, where the outcome is a matter of cunning, timing and strength. But in the end, it is the young Dinosuchus that strands triumphant, a victor of this relentless struggle for life. With the mist clearing and the echoes of the conflict fading, the landscape reclaims its serenity. The young Dinosuchus, battered yet unbowed, finds refuge amongst the thicket. A survivor in a realm where competition never rests, the tale of this fierce struggle speaks to the grand narrative of existence, where each encounter, each battle, each fleeting movement comes with an eternal song of survival. And so, so as the mist dissipates and the landscape sighs with quietude, we are reminded that the young Dinosuchus' fight is a microcosm of the untamed isle. A realm where life's tapestry is woven with threads of ferocity, resilience, and a relentless drive to conquer the challenges that nature's stage presents. But as the last of its foes falls, the young Dinosuchus stands victorious, an embodiment of patience, cunning, and calculated precision. 
It stands amidst the clearing, surrounded by the remnants of its hard fourth triumph, a tableau of life and death that resounds with the pulse of the wild. Having earned its respite, the young Dinosuka's retreats to the river's edge, finding sanctuary amidst the dense vegetation that shrouds the banks. It rests its form hidden from praying eyes, a testament to the art of concealment, an integral skill in the realm where vulnerability and prowess are intertwined. And so, as the river's currents continued to weave their watery tapestry and the jungle thicket reclaimed its stillness, we're reminded that the young Dinosuchus' journey speaks to the ever-present dance of survival. A dance that requires not only might, but also the intricacies of strategy, adaptation, and the unyielding will to survive amidst nature's grand tableau.